Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Gavin Bursef from the Palmetto Properties team at Innovate Real Estate, back at it with another stunning video featuring this great new construction community known as Crescent Cove, which is in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. This community is built by Pulte Homes, which let me tell you, rather you're dreaming of a coastal living, a great family friendly neighborhood, or a great second home, Crescent Cove has it all. But where it's located, it's in kind of in the south strand of Myrtle Beach. So you're minutes away from Market Commons, Surfside Beach, and the Myrtle's Inlet. Uh, but the nice thing is if you're someone that enjoys boating, fishing, golfing, um, or enjoy to go to the beaches, you're just minutes away from the beaches as well. So you can enjoy those sun-kissed shores of Myrtle Beach. Uh, but the nice thing too is if you enjoy some retail therapy, you're a short drive to the Market Commons so you can you know enjoy some shopping. And if you're someone that enjoys going out to eat and some catching some entertainment, you're minutes away from the Merle's, uh, Merle's Inlet Marsh Walk. So you can't go wrong with the location. And of course, you can hop on the highways and go to North Myrtle Beach and, and ex of course, explore everything that the Grand Strand has to offer. But when it comes to the amenities offered at Crescent Cove, let me tell you, they have some great amenities. Uh, they have a resort style swimming pool, a dog park, uh, pickleball courts, playground, and they even have a boat ramp and day docking, which if you're someone that enjoys boating and you want to go on the intercoastal waterway, this could be a great option for you. All those amenities are planned for the future because this is a brand new community. So that's, let me tell you, that is some great amenities that you're going to enjoy while living at Crescent Cove. And the nice thing too is with part of the HOA, it does include high speed internet and cable, which is kind of nice as well. But when it comes to homes that are offered here, Pulte Homes offers some high quality, energy efficient designs with three different home collections to, to choose from, which is the Cambridge, the Prescott, and the Sutton, which offers 12 different floor plans total, which today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Renown, Prestige, and Hartwell. Before we take a look at the models, if you guys have any questions about moving to the Myrtle Beach area, or wanna take a look at this community in person, feel free to click the description below. I have all my information. You can give me a call, text, or email. And I even have a link below where you can schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation, and we can go over a lot of different things and help narrow down a community that is perfect for you and don't forget before we take a look let's give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date on everything going on in the Myrtle Beach area but let's go take a look at the first model known as the Renown all right guys we're going to be taking a look at the first model here which is the Renown which is part of the Sunton series that Palti Homes offers here but for this model it can come to three to four bedrooms three and a half to five and a half bathrooms, and it can come from 2712 to almost 3,700 heated square feet, where it does have an option to have a loft uh, bedroom and bathroom upstairs as well. But for this one, it does not have that option. But the nice thing is too, you can also offer a three car garage, which this one would be the two car garage, which they're using it as their office. But let's go on inside and take a look at the Renown. Someone come follow me. As you can see, it's a very, you know, very nice design in the outside. You got a nice, you know, front porch area. Could be a great place to relax, wave to the neighbors, or enjoy and unwind from the long day that you had, enjoying the Myrtle Beach lifestyle. But let's go on inside. As you can see, right when you walk in, it has a nice open floor design, beautiful LVP floor throughout. And we're gonna be taking a look at the first bedroom over here, which I gotta say for all their models, their bedrooms are a very nice size as well. And of course they do a great job designing the models as well. And the nice thing, it does have a nice walk-in closet. And it does have its own bathroom over here too. Uh, which does have nice tiles um, and then you got your sink and of course you got your glass shower over here too very nice and we'll be heading this way and as you did notice on the way over here we do have another bathroom which is a perfect guest bathroom when friends family come to visit 
uh, or when you're you know entertaining guests. And you do got a nice linen closet as well to store some things. And over to my left, we do have a coat closet. I like to call it the beach closet because of course you're moving to the beach. And the nice thing for this, this model, they do have a nice office space. For a lot of you that are maybe moving to Myrtle Beach, that are having remote jobs, this could be a perfect office space. I mean, as you can see, this is a very spacious room where you know you have a big, uh, big chair right here and, and two like two office desks right here. So this could be a great office um, with you know plenty of natural light too. They got kind of like the tray ceilings on top. So very nice you know office space right there. Uh, but we're gonna be going this way, which brings you to your amazing kitchen, dining room, living room area, and family room area. As you can see, it is a very spacious this design. You do have quartz countertops in the kitchen. It can come into granite as well. We got plenty of room for bar stools, plenty area for counter space and cabinet space. So if you're somebody that enjoys to cook, this is your dream kitchen right here. And as you can see, uh, beautiful cabinets. You got natural gas. Definitely a chef's dream right here. And got plenty, as you can see, plenty of cabinet space. I feel like it just keeps on going. And of course you have a nice walk-in pantry as well. So you cannot go wrong with that. But we're gonna be taking a look at the rest of the home. You got a nice little living room, uh, like a you know living room, family room area. You could you know put a kitchen table there as well if you wanted to. Uh, for this option, it does have a fireplace. That is optional. So if that's something that you didn't want, you didn't you did not have to do it. But if you do want the fireplace, that is gonna be an add-on to it. Um, they can have this model where they can extend the living room space, where it can even be. Uh, a bigger square footage area too but as you can see you have a nice dining room table i mean for even for this model they have a pretty decent sized table here and it does not make this room feel small i mean you got uh eight chairs right there so look at that some things i do want to point out sometimes with some of the fixtures that is something that the designer has done for this model so it might not come um, like that when you do purchase a home just to let you know but we're going to be taking a look at the outside area before we take a look at the rest of the home it has a very nice extended patio with a screen in porch over here too so nice place to you know relax and all that too um, they did add this uh you know grill area and fire pit area this is something that you would have to do an add-on after closing uh, this is just to show what you could do after you know with living here and you could have a beautiful fireplace perfect area to grill as well you know having those summer barbecues you can't go wrong with that or you know being at the beach having a nice beach day and coming home and having some good old-fashioned barbecue uh, but let's go inside to take a look at the rest of the house we're gonna be taking a look um, over here to the owner's suite and let me tell you this owner's suite should blow your mind for how spacious it is. You got, again, you got plenty of natural lighting. You do got the tray ceilings on top. Uh, just a massive owner suite bedroom right here. The one thing I wanted to point out too, they do have the speakers on top. That could be an add-on too. So if you're someone that enjoys to hear tunes throughout your home, you know, that could be a nice add-on to do. Especially maybe, you know, listen to your favorite tunes when you're, uh, you know, cooking some of your favorite meals. Uh, but you got this crazy spacious walk-in closet. I'm echoing it because of how massive this closet space is. So, you know, this is where you, you know, you're gonna store all your nice clothes, shoes, whatever you name it. You got plenty of space. And of course, as you can see, it leads to your owner's suite bedroom, but you do have a linen closet right here as well. But like, check out this owner's suite bathroom. Uh, you do have a few different options. You know, you could do a tub option. This is the walk-in shower option. Uh, let me tell you, this is a pretty nice walk-in shower. Beautiful tiles. Could definitely throw a party up in here. And then you have the vanity sinks. Love your wet closet over there as well. Um, this is an, another walk-in closet as well. So. We saw her closet over here and this could be his closet, <laughs> you know, so not bad. Or it could be a storage room if you wanted to. And then you got even some more 
closet space right here for some of your, you know, your vacuums and all that kind of stuff. You do have your washer and dryer over here. They do have the option where they added the utility sink. So if you're somebody that in your know, enjoys having a utility sink, uh, you know, that could be a great option as well. So the, yeah, not a bad utility room at all. Uh, this door over here would be where your garage is. That is their office space. But you got a nice area to, you know, hang your jackets or, you know, take your shoes off. And then you've got a nice closet, another closet space here. And so you got plenty of storage in this model. And of course we have our third bedroom here, uh, which, you know, has its own bathroom. So you can't go wrong with that where everybody has their own bathroom. So you're not trying to fight for a bathroom or a shower. And again, quartz countertops as well. Nice, beautiful tub shower combo too. And I like to point out is that each bedroom had its own walk-in closet. So you cannot go wrong with that. Again, if you're somebody that is looking for a two-story, it can come optional for another loft, bedroom and bathroom. So that could be an option as well. But, be, uh, but let's go take a look at the next model, which is the Prestige. So come follow me as we take a look at the Prestige. Now we are taking a look at the Prestige, which can come to two to four bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms. And it can be anywhere from 1987 heated square feet to almost over 2,800. So you got a lot of opportunities with this model. So let's go on inside and take a look at the Prestige. Like I want to point out, this is a two, has a two car garage, beautiful front entrance of entering your home with a nice front uh, front porch uh, where they you know this could be an add-on after closing of having a nice swing enjoying you know again waving to your neighbors or having a great glass of wine uh, because you know that hey you can't go wrong with that but let's go on inside to take a look at this model again you got beautiful LVP flooring throughout a nice open floor concept but before we take a look at the main living area Let's go take a look at the first bedroom. The one thing I did not point out with the, the first model is the first floor has nine foot ceilings. Uh, but again, you got a, a beautiful, uh, beautiful, you know, first bedroom with the LPP flooring. You do got the tiles in here, which has its own bathroom uh, and has a, you know, beautiful tub and shower combo here. And of course, you got your own walk-in closet again. So you cannot go wrong with that and take a look at this nice linen closet as well. Um, as you can see, you know, the models have different features. So if that is something that is nice about Halte Homes is that you can also pick a lot and have some customization of how you want your home to, to be designed. Or you can move into one of their quick and move in homes as well, which is already pre-picked for, for you. But if you're someone that enjoys customization, want to, you know, pick how you want your home to be, that could be a great opportunity to have a great lot and of course a home that is your dream home. But let's take a look at the rest of the home. Uh, you do have you know, a nice closet space right here as well. But then this is this model, they did make this area as a flex room, which you know can be a great office space, especially a lot of the people that you know work from home, because uh, that is a kind of a common thing with a lot of people moving here and Myrtle uh, to Myrtle. You do have a you know a small closet in there as well. Uh, but we're going to be taking a look at this way. Now, again, you do have your garage space right here. Uh, they do have that locked right there. You do have a, let me turn this light on, but you do have a, you know, another guest bathroom right here. And so when you have your friends, family, you know, coming to visit, that could be, you know, a bathroom to use when you have air entertaining guests. Uh, you do have, you know, a nice area to take off of your shoes when you, you know, park the car in the garage. Uh, for this, you do have your utility room here. And they do have it as the option to have the utility sink. Again, there's a few different options when designing the home, if you want a utility sink or if you want a cabinets or however you want it. But the kind of the cool thing, and we'll show this again later, is it does have the owner's suite right there, which is the owner's suite closet. So if you have any dirty clothes, you can actually just throw it in right there and don't have to walk all the way around your home. Kind of a cool feature. I thought it was pretty neat. But let's take a look at the rest of the home. As you can see, a nice open floor concept. You got the tray ceilings in the family room uh, that leads to your kitchen area. Again, such a great kitchen, especially with all the cabinet space. Um, 
counter space. So if you're someone that enjoys to cook, you know, this could be your dream kitchen right here, which does lead to your dining room area as well. Uh, so, you know, that's that, a great option too, is that, you know, actually sit down and enjoy those family dinners. Um, or of course, a nice place to play some cards or enjoy having some time with friends and everything. And again, you have a nice walk-in pantry as well. So I know for a lot of people, you love to cook. So you want that pantry space and you got it with this model right here. And then before we, you know, take a look at the upstairs, we can't forget about the first floor owner suite, which is a nice option. Cause I know a lot of people that are moving to Myrtle Beach do want to have the owner suite on the first floor. So this could be a, a great option for you guys. Um, as you can see, again, a lot of natural light in here too, very nice spacious bedroom uh, for being the owner's suite. And then you do have a nice walk-in closet right here. I mean, hey, you could already, do you, you guys dream about putting your shoes already right there? Uh, Cause hey, that is a nice closet space right here. And then we do got the owner's suite bathroom. Again, this is, you can have this come into a couple different options. They did do the option where it is the shower and tub. So I know a lot of people would do enjoy taking baths. So this could be a great option. Of course, you could do like the walk-in shower as the previous model had. Um, so there is a few different options with when it comes to the bathrooms here. Uh, you do got your wet closet right here. Uh, his and her sinks. Very nice owner suite bathroom right here. Again, you got your linen closet too, so you can't forget about that. And then you have your walk-in closet in here as well so again a lot of different closet space in here uh to you know have all your clothes and all that again and like i said earlier you can put all your dirty laundry right there and so throw that in the basket so cool cool option i've not seen that in any construction at least in my dog tour so i think that's pretty cool and then before we take a look at the upstairs area when we're down here let's take a look at the uh, outside area now let's take a look at the outside area. And let me tell you, the nice thing about this is you have a few different options here and you can have a covered porch, a screen in porch. Um, and I think it, where you can have it completely screened in as well. So that's kind of a nice, you know, customization you can do in here. But they got a really nice, uh, nice design. Again, they do have it where they do have a fireplace set up here. And that is something they don't do. They're just kind of showing it for, you know, for the model. So at least it gives you some great ideas of what you can do on your home after you close. I mean, imagine having this done and enjoying some, you know, bonfires in your own backyard. I mean, that's pretty, pretty neat neat right there and uh, have maybe some, some during the summer have some s'mores or maybe roast some hot dogs or invite the neighbors over because of course they want to you know enjoy, get on in that too so let's go back inside the home and take a look at the upstairs All right, so now we are upstairs, and as you can see, they have the option of adding a loft area to here. So I know a lot of people that are moving, they do want to have kind of this space where they could, you know, make it a kid's room, a man's cave, a game room, or, you know, endless possibilities, or just maybe an extra office space. Uh, so, you know, this is the nice thing. It's a great size loft area, as you can see. Um, and, you know, as you can see, and each of the models we've looked at so far, plenty of natural light too. Uh, which is great. You do have your HVAC right there, so I'm not going to open that up, but that's where you, one of your HVACs are. And then we do have the bathroom here too. So a nice size bathroom with a tub shower combo. And of course, you can't forget about the other bedroom up here because uh, this is an optional that you can do with the second floor too with your own closet space. So pretty cool. You got almost like the Harry Potter door right there too. So hey, that's pretty neat. And of course the linen closet right there as well. But 
That's gonna be the end of the Prestige model. Now we're gonna take a look at the Hartwell. So come follow me as we take a look at the last model here. Last but not least, we're gonna be taking a look at the Hartwell, which is part of the Cambridge series. The one thing I did not mention, the Prestige is part of the Prescott series. But for the Hartwell model, it can come to three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms and can range from 2394 heated square feet to almost 2600 heated square feet. So a really great model behind me. Uh, but let's go take a look at the Hartwell and see what this model has to offer. Again, you have a great great front entrance of your home. I gotta say it looks really great with the windows on, on the second floor as well. You do have a two car garage, but let's go take a look at the Hartwell. Again, you do have a nice front porch area. They got the, of course, the nice rocking chairs. So can, can you not imagine yourself, you know, rocking on that? And of course, rocking it, living that Myrtle Beach lifestyle. But let's go on inside. Again, you've got great LVP form in here too. They do have it where they have it as a flex room right when you walk in too. So nice office space. The one thing I want to kind of point out when I'm in this room, like I said earlier in the video, you can have the option to customize your home to you know, pick a lot and also customize what you want your cabinets to look like or how the flooring on all that great stuff. So here's some of the different things that could be included. Um, so of course, when, when you guys come in person, we can schedule a tour. And if you guys are interested in customization, we can you know sit down and go over that. So uh, not bad at all, but let's go take a look at this model. Uh, this would be where your garage space would be. Uh, and then you do have your utility uh, utility room right here with your washer and dryer. Um, so not too bad at all. But then we're gonna be taking a look to the main living room area, kitchen area. Again, nice open floor concept, plenty of natural light. I, I really do like the white cabinets in here. And you do have the quartz countertops as well. Uh, so not a bad, not a bad model. Uh, you got a nice, nice area for a dining room table or a kitchen table. Um, and then you do have your pantry in the corner over here, which is not a bad size at all either. Not bad. And then we do have, you know, the nice dining room area, nice living room area. This one does have the, you know, the option for the second, uh, second floor as well. But before we take a look at the rest of the home, let's take a look at the outdoor area. And let me tell you, it's a nice day here in Myrtle Beach. You got a nice covered porch and they even extended it over there. And so it could be a nice area to relax and enjoy the beautiful weather that we have here in, in Myrtle Beach. Uh, but yeah, this is not bad at all. And let's go back in and inside. And we're gonna be taking a look at the owner's suite over here. Which let me tell you, you got the nice tray ceilings, the LVP flooring. Uh, I, I really like how they kind of did a lot of the white colors in here with the furniture, even the bedroom sets. It kind of really well the design with the, t the taste of the furniture and everything. Uh, so very impressed for sure. And then we're gonna be taking a look at the owner's bathroom. Let me put those lights on for you guys. You got the his and her sinks. And you do got a nice shower right here, glass shower right here. You got your linen closet as well. And then you do have your walk-in closet right here. So, you know, not a bad, not a bad model. You do have your wet closet right here too. So this could be a great option for you, but let's go take a look at the upstairs area. All right, so we are now upstairs. The nice thing is the owner's suite was on the first floor. The additional bedrooms are on the second floor. So that could be a kind of a great option, especially if you have, uh, you know, family visiting and you kind of want that space between them and yourself. Uh, so where they can, you know, feel like they're kind of at their own home while coming to visit, which they have, you know, a nice loft area upstairs where you can, you know, you can make it a game room, uh, you know, kids area or uh, you know maybe even office space too but you do have that office downstairs as well that we we looked at earlier but let's take a look at this bedroom up here 
Nice size. As you can see already, it has a walk-in closet, which is not bad at all. And then you do have your own bathroom, which does have a tub shower combo as well. Man, a great size. I think I even got the surf theme up in here. And then we have another bedroom right here. With your own closet space right there. And then one thing I didn't point out with the other two story model is on the second floor, it's eight foot ceilings. First floor, nine foot ceilings. Second floor, eight foot ceilings. Good thing to know. You got another bedroom right here too. Again, you got the another closet space. Another linen closet. And last but not least, another bathroom to be shared between the other bedrooms. So not bad at all. Again, tub shower combo. So you do got some options, like I said, with the bathrooms, so not bad at all. But that's gonna be the three models offered here in at Crescent Cove. Of course, you got other another nine different floor plans to choose from. So you got a big selection here with some great amenities. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of taking a look at the Crescent Cove community right here in Myrtle Beach. Again, you're in a great location being close to the market commons, close to the beaches, close to Surfside and Myrtle's Inlet. And of course, you have some great amen amenities coming in the future with a resort style swimming pool, playground, dog park, pickleball course, boat ramp, day docking. You know, that's some great amenities. And as you can see, you got some great homes from watching this video. We looked at three out of the 12 floor plans, so you do have some variety to choose from in here. But if you guys have any questions about moving to Myrtle Beach or want to take a closer look at this community, feel free to reach out. Again, give me a call, text, or email, or click my, the link below where you can schedule a one on one consultation. And again, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything going on in the Myrtle Beach area. But I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. And don't forget to keep on enjoying that Myrtle Beach lifestyle. I'll see you guys next time.